Welcome back, it's Thursday, time for another 10 minute modeling challenge in Blender. After my last Star Destroyer 10 minute video, which I thought was fairly optimized even for being me, I'm uh, scaring myself a little bit now because I wanted to up my game every week and I don't think I'll be able to do that. So you have to bear with me if it doesn't turn out as good. I'll see what I can do, I'll do my best anyway. <laughs> I hope it's gonna be a fun segment. This time around, I've challenged myself to do Titanic in 10 minutes. It's gonna be a very primitive model. I have to uh, realize that the time limit is quite strict. So uh, there's gonna be a lot of features missing, but I'm okay with that. I'll just try to get the general shape. I, I can't work off any reference. There's not enough time for that. So I'll, uh, I'll speed model it and then uh, I'll uh, bring up some pictures of Titanic afterwards and we'll see if it's uh, even remotely resembling the original. I'll also try to colorize this one because uh, I wanted to, the Star Destroyer was good because it was pretty much gray all around, but this one I need the basic colors anyway, red, black and white and some wood decking. So I'll try my best to start off by creating the simple texture and then uh, doing the low poly modeling after that. So wish me luck now, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> all right. Give me some encouragement in the comments below as well. Put some suggestions as well if I should model anything. All right, I got everything loaded. I'm gonna set the timer as usual on my phone here. So I've got 10 minutes on my timer. I've got pixelart.com loaded for my texture and I've got Blender with a default scene running here as well. All systems go ready, steady, go. Timer is running, yes it is. I'm gonna need black, I'm gonna need white, I'm gonna need red and uh, orange for the chimney and brown for the decking. Download, that's my texture. Here it is, uh, let's bring it into Blender. I need to delete the default things here. Shading, let's bring this new texture in. Oh no, I have to select the box first. Material, bring texture in, change it to closest. Bring the base color in. I'm gonna be modeling in my UV set here. So let's do Control R for loop cuts. Delete these vertices here. Uh, mirror modifier. As always clipping on and then I need to do this so I can see the texture that I'm modeling and I want to switch on the cavity I always like to model over that okay a select everything a scale 0 0.01 let's make it red um, I made part a scale y-axis about that long control R for and then six for six loop cuts right click uh, shift space G Let's move these in to get the general shape of Titanic. A, Alt, M to merge the doubles. Control R, double uh, loop cuts here. And then try to get the general shape here of the base, maybe up a little bit and in. And the front, we probably need to bring up and in a bit. Control R, let's make a different front here. And then in the back, Control R, Let's bring that out a bit. Control R again, out. And then I think it goes in a bit here. So let's select these, bring them in. Oh, got some issue here. Oh, I need to bring that on too. Okay, maybe something like that. Okay, and then select the top here. Shift Control I for inset, and then B to get that center thing going. Oh, come on. And just a fine line for the railing here. And then let's deselect these. Oh, I have to do this again. Shift, Shift, Control, all the way to there. Control plus, don't want these, don't want that. Okay. And then uh, deselect these, E to extrude these up a bit. E to, ex oh, e to extrude up the railing a bit if I can. Okay, that E to extrude that one. Now we need to move this in a bit. Maybe like that. Same here. Move that back a bit. Okay. And then now we need some shapes to the actual ship here. K for the knife cut. And I think first I'm gonna cut, I think it's a, like a little shape here, like this. I'm gonna have to accept that there are no straight lines there. Seven, top view, control, key, or just K here. Some general shapes here. 
and then K, I think there's something like this here. Okay, and then the front here, we have a few tiers. It's a bit like the Star Destroyer in a way, because it had a bunch of tiers here. So let's do the same here. And then let's do some... It's got some, like, upper flooring here where all the posh people got to go. All the first class passengers could stroll about if you've seen Titanic. Um, some glass things here, and then just some end things here, I think. Maybe something like that. Three, control plus here. Let's bring these up first floor. And then second floor and oh, third floor. Let's bring, bring a railing up here as well. And then these select that. Don't want them falling overboard now, do we? E to extrude again, something maybe like that. And I think this is some sort of a glass uh, ball thing here. Okay, here now, um, there's some sort of a uh, K knife cut. I think it dips down, or down here a little bit. So let's make that. This is probably wasting precious time to do this detail. I need chimneys. <laughs> Okay. Okay, let's colorize this. Uh, three on the keypad for the side view. A, no, B, let's box select. Make this black. Control minus twice. White here. And then all of these will need to be. <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, this is wood everywhere, I think. Apart from that one, which is a glass thing, if I remember. Uh, wood, 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 wood. And wood. That'll do. I'm go not going to say that'll do again. I keep saying that over and over again. Okay. Chimney time. How am I doing? Oh, four minutes to go. Four minutes and 20 seconds. To shift S uh, tab. Let's make a mesh cylinder uh, tab. Scale it down. Scale it up. I can't remember how big these are. Scale. Uh, scale Z up a bit. Scale. Z up a bit more. Control R for a loop cut. Control R for a loop. And I'm gonna try to make some wires here as well. So let's do try to select a bunch of these around here. Hold the shift to multi-select here. And I hope I end up on an even amount here. Yes. Uh, switch this one to individual origins. I for inset. Let's do a top view. E to extrude. Here are some wires down okay and then let's select all of this so we need to colorize it shading same material as the other one and then go into uv editing uh, a scale 0 0.01 let's make it uh, black but we need to make let's hide the titanic here and make this bottom part orange okie uh, tab alt h need to tilt them a bit I think they were tilting anyway. So let's make a simple tilt here. And I think there are this, well, I don't think I know there's four chimneys. So shift space G1, but I can't remember the positions of them. Two, oh, shift D, shift D. They have to be spaced equal at least, hey? So like that. And then let's put some poles. How many are in? 232 left, control K. Or no, just K. I'm gonna make these things here, which rise up. E to extrude, S to scale it down a lot, and move it in. And then move it back a bit. And then here, let's do the same here. I think there's one around here. There, side view, E to extrude it up, about the same height, scale it down. Move it in, three, move it back. Okay, that, that's okay. Uh, one minute 54, okay, let's put shift S, let's put something here, shift, let's do a cylinder, off with the clipping, down in size, scale 0 0.01, gee, let's make these white. I think there are some uh, drums here for something, shift D, let's make some small drums up here, I think they tie it or something. I to inset, E to extrude. 
uh, L, scale it down, shift D, maybe put two of these here. Okay, I'm gonna try to put some uh, propellers in as well. Let's move this in as well. Uh, I for inset, E to extrude in. Let's colorize that just black for now. And that one needs to be brown probably. Let's make this brown as well, looks a bit strange otherwise. Okay, no time for that. Okay, so one minute to go, let's make just the propeller thing here as well. Or the rudder, I guess. Maybe I don't have time for the propellers. So, clipping enabled again. E to extrude this one. Let's move it in. Control R. E to extrude this one down. Control R. E to extrude this one in. Control R here. Let's make it a bit wider like that see through 22 seconds okay I won't have time to do any propellers unfortunately but I have to realize that there are some limitations here okay four three two one finished ten minutes are up and this is the Titanic I ended up with. Oh, I always forget to switch this off as well. Dismiss. Okay, it's lacking windows. Uh, it's got a chimney on top of uh, the glass thing here. Probably didn't work too well. I don't think there's a chimney that cuts through like that. And uh, the general shape, maybe I get away with it. It would have been nice with some propellers. It's a titanic shaped object. Oh yeah, I was gonna bring up uh, some reference images or not reference images, but let's bring, let's do a Google search here. Okay, let's bring up some side-by-sides here of titanic. Titanic image. And let's be uh, brutally honest here now as well. What should I bring up? Maybe a side view here. <laughs> okay, well, it looks very different than mine, but let's see if I can uh, resize this a bit. Scale it down. Let's do the same side view here. So here's the Titanic. I got some things wrong here. I got, uh, I guess the general sort of shape is uh, not too far off. The black should have been a bit smaller. The red should have been a bit more. There's the glass thing that I've actually stuck a chimney on. This one here, and it's a lot smaller here. Tilting, well, the chimneys are a bit too tall. These masts are sort of in the right position. The railing is not too bad, I guess. The back is a bit too long here. Should have been longer on top here. Rudder, I didn't make it. I didn't get to make the propellers, unfortunately. And obviously none of the windows could make it. And I realize now that I've even not made the lifeboats. Um, I think there were some other people as well <laughs> that forgot some life lifeboats up, obviously. History says. But it would have been nice to be if I could add those as well. So I, I don't think I could do it in the 10 minutes. If I added a, maybe if I had another five minutes, I could have done lifeboats and maybe some windows or some more details in the back here. But I'm, I'm okay with it. I have to be not too hard on myself at the same time. Nick, what can we see here? Titanic sink, did it sink? Didn't know that. Well, didn't know that. Okay, so here's another picture. Well, I don't even know if these are authentic. Maybe they're not true either. I'll put the file in the download. If you expand the description, you can download this little polygon. I don't know what you're gonna use it for, but at least you can have a look how it was made and compare it to the video. So if you find use for it, great. If you don't, that's fine too. And put a comment as well if you want me to model something. Just uh, put any suggestions. I'll do my best to uh, try to model it for you. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see next week's build. Don't know what I'm going to make yet. I might do a diorama picture actually that uh, my friend Jim suggested. So that's a bit of a slice of reality. It's going to be low poly. Put some trees in, put some dirt, a road segment, maybe a speed camera, he said. I'll try that. And uh, it's best of all, it doesn't exist in real life, so I don't have to stress myself too much with uh, looking at the actual original afterwards, comparing it and realizing all the mistakes that I've done. 
It's a bit like uh, Tetris when you play it. All the blocks drop and it just leaves your mistakes. That's all you see. And that's pretty much all you see now as well when you look at these comparisons. So thanks whoever suggested that I should uh, compare it to the original after. So I went from being fairly happy with the shape until realizing that I got some proportions wrong. But I'm not going to be too hard on myself. I have to uh, see this as practice and it'll be fun to see what the year has to bring in this segment. Hope you liked it and take care and happy game dev, happy uh, blending. Happy modeling, happy everything. I'll see you soon.